Hey guys, welcome back to our channel where I inspire your desire to be great, to be great, to be great. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, watching another video, you guys, to my amazing supporters. Thank you guys so, so much for all of your amazing support. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Thank you for always showing love. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Do not forget to like, don't forget to comment, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you can stay tuned for more amazing content like this. So, um, as you guys can tell by the title of this video, I am gonna tell you guys basically the difference between $200 glasses, ding, 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 and $600 contact lenses. And I know you're like, oh my God, $600. I got y'all. Y'all know I don't pay full price for anything if I don't have to. So I'm going to put y'all on game on how you can afford $600 contact lenses and $200 glasses regardless of your budget and your income. So um, I'm going to also tell you guys which one is better in this video. And in addition, I'm going to be putting on my contact lenses while I'm talking to y'all because I just finished my workout and um the way my day is going it's time for me to put my contact lenses on so we're gonna get straight into it so um throughout college i would say i wore glasses i mean ever since i was in middle school i started wearing glasses and that was because i went to lake compounds i think or six flags or something on a field trip i hit my face and it left like a scar there and ever since then my vision wasn't the same i was squinting for a long time and then eventually i told him I think I told my mom, like, I think I need glasses because I'm always squinting. I can't see. So I got into wearing glasses. I knew absolutely nothing about wearing contact lenses. I didn't. I didn't know anything about wearing contact lenses. And then fast forward to high school, I started hearing people talk about contact lenses. Contact lenses. Contact lenses. And if you're in my era, like my generation, then y'all know like the colored contact lenses was like a big, big thing. Like people used to love, love that or whatever. So I got curious, I think when I got to college, like, you know how can you afford contact lenses i used to think like it's super expensive insurance doesn't cover it it's way out of budget so i never looked into it i literally just stuck to wearing glasses and then eventually um i was outside a lot like when i was in college i was doing a lot of walking and stuff like you know on campus you got to go from class to class so being on campus like um these are some of the things that i don't like about glasses they leave like a little mark here like on your face and stuff like that and I don't like it it makes your skin tone like uneven for example depending on like when where you're working out like you know it slides off of your face I was going like try to get it to slide off my face but my face isn't sweaty right now so those are like the downside like I feel like glasses aren't built for like hot weather if it's like the winter time when it's nice and cool then okay if you're just in the house chilling then good you know i feel like it's beneficial for um if you're just in the house or kind of lounging around it's good to have them but um like i was saying fast forward to college i got curious and i decided to try contact lenses ever since i tried them i never looked back was it in college no i don't remember no i think it was in college i don't fully remember but regardless the point of it is um your insurance will cover glasses and contact lenses either or so i fell in love with wearing contact lenses like i told y'all and for a long time um my glasses had also broken so i didn't have glasses so then recently probably like a year ago my husband suggested like why don't you get glasses or whatnot so again in my head it was like oh glasses are too much or whatever but if you look for stuff on sale you can get them on sale you don't have to if you have contact lenses there's no really any reason for you to have like a very expensive um frame like you really don't so these they were $200 and then Lens and Crafter had them on sale for $100 so I just paid the $100 out of pocket there are glasses that are way like cheaper and stuff but I went based on like what fit my fame 
fit my face best so you could pick like glasses that fits your face best but those are like the downside of having glasses the upside of having glasses is literally you can get up and just throw them on you don't got to wash your hands you don't got to look in the mirror you don't got to do none of that stuff so i would say that's like the plus side to having glasses is literally you could put them on whenever you want they are to me more affordable but to be able to afford contact lenses also you can um your insurance covers contact lenses and most of the time they don't tell you this they don't but they do cover contact lenses um and you don't have to get the 600 dollars contact lenses so i'm gonna break it down for y'all 600 dollars is usually the year supply of contact lenses so if you plan on wearing contact lenses all year round every single day like i was then get the $600 one. But the beautiful thing is with the $600 one, they usually give you like a $200 mail-in rebate. So you're really only paying $400 for the contact lenses and you have a year worth of supplies. Now, the other way you could do this is you could first go about getting your glasses right because your insurance never cover both at the same time. It's always one or the other. So the first thing you could do is one year because you're your insurance renews every single year so for the first year what you could do you could get contact i mean you could get you some glasses that are affordable wear those glasses for the whole year then the following year when your insurance renews get you some contact lenses now to me, if you have glasses, you don't need a whole year supply of contact lenses. Unless you want to maximize it and your prescription doesn't change that much, then sure, go ahead and go get um, the year supply because that year supply with glasses, that will carry you maybe for like a good two years. I would say, yeah, I think it could last for like a good two years because for me, um, ever since I got glasses, most of the time I only buy the 90 day supply or the six month supply. Because because I'm not going to be wearing glasses or contact lenses every single day so you pretty much can like capitalize on getting both of them so that pretty much wraps up this video of how you can afford contact lenses and glasses at the same time I know it can seem expensive it sounds expensive it come off as expensive but it's really not there are ways around it if you can afford to get the year supply and get you a $200 mail-in rebate go for it the other thing I suggest you do is shop around when it comes to contact lenses sometimes like doctor's office they're like way more expensive than places like walmart so i found out that walmart is the most affordable i feel like when it comes to contact lenses um so far and sometimes target they have like a good deal um around like the holidays time because they're trying to get people to buy and yeah doctor's office i found like lens and crafters um I don't want to say the old doctor's office that I used to go to, but um, smaller like doctor's office, they kind of um, charge more for contact lenses, but places like Walmart, Target, I know someone that used to get um, them from BJ's, like those used to, like those those places can be more affordable than um the doctor's office so the plus side i want to talk about with contact lenses um is that i feel like and this is another thing you're gonna have to learn when you um transition or when you do both contact lenses like you don't have to turn your head to see something when you are wearing glasses and sometimes this is a pet peeve of mine because i know y'all are like me sometimes sometimes i'm nosy and i want to look at somebody without them knowing that i'm looking at them so with glasses it's hard to do that because the the frame of your glass is like blocking so you kind of got to turn your head a little bit but with contact lenses all you got to do is turn your eye and somebody don't know that you're really looking at them so that's some of the things I like about with contact lenses um, that you could just wear them it's not something extra on your face literally oh let me show y'all that's why I'm in the bathroom <laughs> to tell y'all um so i keep my contact lenses in my medicine cabinet because i wear them not every day but often enough so i just keep them in my medicine cabinet i'm running out actually i need to restock them but um yeah that's another thing with like contact lenses it's one less thing on your face i feel like as you can see if you don't know what contact lenses are they're these little things literally like there's they're these little tiny things or whatnot and this compared to this like, so 
I like contact lenses because it's just one less thing on my face sometimes especially let's say like you wearing makeup like I don't know it's just a lot going on when you're wearing makeup and wearing glasses it's a lot it's not my preference so I definitely encourage you to also try contact lenses um, I've encouraged I could say a handful of people to try it and they've ended up liking it it might take some time to get used to but it's overall better to me than glasses it is you could do so much more without worrying about this sliding off of your face because I've had times like where I'm working out I'm sweating and boom the glasses is like falling off and it's just so annoying even when you got to keep like pushing it up because it keeps sliding down or whatever so I absolutely love contact lenses give it a try if you've never tried it give it time to get used to like yes you just you know you got to Put it in and out of your eyes. You got to wash your hands also. Make sure that your hands are clean. Make sure you're in a clean space when you're um, putting them in and stuff. So I always make sure that my hands are clean whenever I'm going to put them in. As I promise you, I'm going to show you how I put them in. It's super easy. I did um, watch like YouTube videos to learn how to put them in and get better at putting them in. So I always wash like at least my two finger tips that I know I'm going to use to put them in and I just make sure that they're clean um, so you open them like this you take them out the case it's so easy y'all I don't know if I could talk when I'm putting them in though so but I put it on the tip of my finger like that make sure it's faced properly and then you just open your eyes like that look up and boom so easy y'all it takes time to get used to don't get me wrong it i ain't get to this place overnight but it gets easier um as you do it and you just fall in love with it more just don't keep them in too long because i had a bad habit of doing that like keeping them in for hours but if you read like the instructions and stuff it encourages you not to wear them I think like past eight hours which is why it's important to have glasses um, so that you could switch you could switch it up sometimes so I got the second one boom Oops. And boom, just like that, y'all. I told y'all it's super duper easy. They're both in. Now I can see nothing on my face. My face feel pretty light. Also, the other thing to encourage y'all, especially if you're new to wearing them, but even if you're not new to wearing them, always keep a bottle of solution in your cabinet and also keep an extra case because sometimes if you're like me, sometimes you just want to put on contact lenses for like an occasion and you're only wearing it for like a few hours and you know you could re-wear them. So I have my solution here I just put them in the case and then I can re-wear them the next day for a few hours if I don't plan on wearing them um, for too many hours sometimes um, I don't know about you guys but maybe like you know when you wear makeup or if something get in your eye or like an eyelash or whatever you got to take it out you could use your solution rinse it off and pop it back in so I absolutely love contact lenses they make my life so much easier like I told you all I always feel more confident and more comfortable wearing them um, with glasses sometimes I feel like glasses can like hide my beauty and I don't really like that um, so that's another reason why glasses aren't my favorite but they do come in handy and one last benefit I forgot to mention is if you like wearing sunglasses like me that's another benefit is that you won't have to get prescription sunglasses but you could also just pop your sunglasses on whenever you're ready compared to I know some others before they knew about contact lenses they will put their glasses on and then put the sunglasses over them which again it can just be a lot so there are a lot of pros to wearing sunglasses I mean to wearing sunglasses <laughs> to wear contact lenses so i hope you guys enjoy this video um another pro i could tell y'all too as i'm remembering now is when you're putting on makeup or when you're doing your hair it's easier to see when you have your contact lenses in your eye compared to depending on if you're nearsighted or farsighted imagine trying to put on makeup with your glasses on it's not as easy so go get you some contact lenses um and i 
think I mentioned, well no, I don't think I mentioned, so I'm going to add this in the video for y'all. Um, you don't have to get a year supply. A year supply is usually like $600 with a $200 mail-in rebate. Um, the 90 day supply is like $150 and then a 6 month supply is like $300. So as y'all know my principle my word of encouragement to you guys is always go for the best based on where you are so if you could only afford a 90 day supply get the 90 day supply if you could only afford the six month supply get the six month supply if you could afford the year supply get the year supply they also have the one month like boxes as well individual you could also do the one month um, boxes with contact lenses they have the daily ones they have the bi-weekly ones and I think I think they have the monthly ones I'm not sure but um yeah the thing that I usually like I prefer I use the daily ones I don't like the weekly ones where you could change them every two week two weeks because from my experience um every single week you get a fresh pair in your eyes which I absolutely like I never re-wear a pair of contact lenses more than twice but from the weekly ones I tried those out and that's the beautiful thing with your um doctor's office like when you're going for an appointment and stuff like that they'll let you try different pairs if you like the daily ones the weekly ones I think there is a monthly one or whatever but um after like two weeks um I feel like one week in like my vision started getting blurry like the contact started wearing out and I didn't like that so I chose to go with the week I mean the daily ones which are they're not that much the price difference between them is not that much but I feel like they're healthier for you um when you are wearing glasses so for me like when I started wearing contact lenses I completely just forgot about my glasses I would leave them all over the place and put them anywhere but then a friend of mine suggested that just have a designated spot to put your glasses that way you're not always losing them and you're not always trying to find them especially when you don't have your contact lenses in so my designated spot is on my nightstand next to my bed so that if I need them first thing in the morning when I wake up I could just put them on or Again, if I just need them later on or at any time, I know my glasses are always on a nightstand next to my bed so that I can find them. So another tip for you contact lenses, glasses wearers. So yeah. And also if you are, especially if you're a new contact lenses wearer, make sure you get you some eye drops as well. Um, the one specific for contact lenses they have like lubricating eye drops and stuff because sometimes your eyes will get dry especially if you sit in front of a computer a lot if you have a lot of lights in your eyes and stuff that will make your eyes um, your contact lenses dry out sometimes so um, con I mean contact lenses eye drops will help keep your eyes um, hydrated as well and if you're really really new to wearing contact lenses always keep an extra pair in your bag um, just in case anything happen because um, again you got to get used to having something in your eye you might rub your eye too hard and it fall out and you can't find it so you gonna need an extra pair so keep an extra pair in your bag I would say for the first few months if you wearing it until you get used to it so so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video do not forget to like comment subscribe I appreciate every single one of you guys for always watching always supporting and I will see you guys in the next video where I inspire your desire to be great to be great to be great bye